The next skill I'm gonna show you today is how to prep a monkfish. Now, monkfish is one of those fish that is miscellaneous. And what I mean by that, it doesn't really sit in the round fish, it doesn't really sit in the flat fish. It's a, it's a beast of its own. So what I've got in front of me is a monkfish tail and most of the time you'll see it in the fishmongers in this guise. You won't see it with its full head on in its glory because it'll probably be double the size and it's not a very pretty thing to look at. So most of the time you'll see it like this um, and this has got the skin on um, which we need to take off. And we also, for this dish, which I'm gonna do, the preparation I'm gonna do for this, I'm gonna cut it into steaks. So a monkfish is, is a fish that will eat mainly crustacea. So what you get with the texture of the actual fish is a little bit like a uh, lobster or prawn or crab. And it has those sort of characteristics when you eat it as well. In the past, it's been used as a poor man's scampi. So when things like langoustines and prawns have been a bit expensive, some very creative people, or should we say some trace description act against trace description act, uh, have put it, little pieces of it into breadcrumbs um, and then called it scampi, but in fact, it's been monkfish. Once upon a time, it was a fish that no one would eat. Um, it was a fish that people would just say, give it to the cat because it's not good enough. But I think that's a load of nonsense. And I actually think it's a fantastic fish, especially if you're a fan of things with lots of flavor. So if you wanted to marinate it in tandoori spices, if you wanted to put it on a barbecue and treat it with a bit of, you know, you can be heavy handed with monkfish. So the first thing you need to do to prep a fish um, is to give it the once over. So check it, you know, you want it, you want it to be a little bit of slime on there, which is a good thing. You want it to be nice and firm. If the fillet is a little bit, say, what is known as slinky, a little bit sort of tired, it's not because there's anything wrong with it, it's because it's just gone through a breeding process of just, uh, you know, as you would be if you're going through a breeding process, you'll be tired, and that's what happens to a fish. So make sure you give it a little bit of a prod or ask your fishmonger to give it a little bit of a prod and make sure it's nice and firm. The best ones are firm, okay? Um, and really just, you know, the appearance needs to be nice and clean. No signs of lots of blood, like clotting of blood, which maybe means that it's been sort of trawled or it's been ill-treated. So just use your eyes. So the first thing you need to do is to take your fish scissors and along the back, you've got a few fins. Um, just, Cut the fins off, nice and easy, on both sides of the fish. There's one on the bottom as well. Okay. And then to skin the fish, you basically just pull at it. So hold on to the actual main body of the fish and then pull the skin off. It comes off in one. And again on the other side. And then there you go. So you got, an, oh, that's as easy as that to take the skin off. Okay, what, what you gotta do next is, is uh, sort of take the membrane off. So you've got like a very thin membrane on a monkfish. If you leave that on, it's not gonna be the end of the world, but what you might find is it's the, the actual end result is a little bit tough. So I always trim it off. So the way to do that is to make sure your hands are nice and clean and take your fillet knife. Make sure it's nice and, uh, Nice and sharp. Yeah, I always use this sort of action, nice and slow. And keep that angle. You're looking at sort of a, that sort of angle. <laughs> it's 45 degrees, so that sort of angle. Okay. So turn the fish over. This is the, the underside of it. So you've got the top side and the underside. And then cutting away from yourself, just turn your blade around and then just run it along the center to the tail and then do the same thing on the other side of the bone. Just spin the knife over and then cut away from yourself. And what I'm doing, I'm just cutting above the membrane there and that's gonna make it easier for me to trim. So I'm gonna turn the fish round and then very close to the membrane, just trim away with nice long strokes with a sharp knife. And what that does is just you're just cutting away that membrane there. Okay. Once you get around the side, just cut through. Okay. 
Nice little membrane there. Spin it around again. And then exactly the same thing, just nice long strokes of the knife, just let the knife do the business. Okay, that's the underside done. So just have a little look at where the head is. Sometimes you get a little bit of, um, a little bit of blood that's just natural, just trim that away. It's not going to hurt you. It's all it's all part of the part of it. Basically, what you're looking for the appearance is that everything's nice and white. You've got anything that's sort of a silvery colour, like membrane looking, or anything that's bloody, just trim it all away and keep it nice and clean. Okay. Once you've got one side done, spin the fish over and do exactly the same thing. So you run the knife along the centre all the way like that okay so it exposes where the bone is the good thing about a fish like this it actually guides you you've got that line and that sort of hard bit of bone you can't cut through that with a filleting knife so you're not gonna you know you the guy's there to say you don't make a any huge mistakes so just be confident with it just come along all the way to the end okay and then same thing again using make sure it's nice and taut on the on your chopping board and then just Come as close to the sinew as you can and then just trim it around exposing that lovely sort of firm monkfish flesh if you miss a bit don't worry just come back to it it's not a race the most important thing is that you do it correctly and that you uh, don't muck up what you've invested in in a, in a nice big piece of fish like this. Okay, and then spin it around again. Always make it easy for yourself. You know, bring it as close as possible to you. Make sure you're not doing anything awkward. You know, the angles of what you're cutting, don't do anything where you lean over. Try and stand nice and firm, nice and straight. Try and keep your back up and just trim it down. I can't stress enough for how important it is to have a really sharp knife when you're doing something like this. If you, could, if you try and do this with a cook's knife or a blunt knife, it'll be uh, not a very, very pretty picture. It'll be a bit of a mess. So get yourself a nice filleted knife. That's it, and then we just trim that away. You'll notice that there's quite a bit of trim that comes off it. You know, don't panic, you're not making a mistake. It's just a natural thing that the part of the fish is, isn't is sort of like, it's edible, but it's not gonna be pleasant to eat. But what you've got underneath is this lovely white flesh that, you know, it's gonna be amazing. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just gonna cut it into sort of steaks. So what I really love about monkfish, and, and I find it is a great introduction to eating fish, is because the texture of this is nice and firm. It's, it's got a meaty texture to it. Um, and it's not so, you know, it's a, you, if you're a bit worried about eating fish, it's a good one. It's not like a fishy fish, say like a, maybe a place or a lemon sole would be. It's, it's got that meatiness to it. You know, it treat, it, treat it quite mean as well. It can handle big flavors. So I'm just gonna cut this into steaks. Um, so straight across the bone. And now we're looking at this always before you proportion the fish, always just sort of like mark it out. Make sure you know where you're going. So I'm looking for nice three equal pieces out of this. So this is a thicker part, this part here. So I know I'm gonna, they're gonna be a bit thinner and their tail's a bit thinner there. So this bit will be longer, but these will be shorter. So I'm just gonna cut this across the bone like that. And then another one like that. And then again on the tail. So what you got there is some lovely, big, thick monkfish steaks. Um, at this stage, you could, if you wanted to, freeze them. So if you see a deal in the fishmongers, buy them and get them frozen down. But what I'm gonna do with them today is I'm gonna marinate them in some tandoori spices for a dish that I'm gonna make later. Mm -hmm. 